Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Tech 5 News. I'm your host, James Gray, and today's episode, we're going to talk about how the German government is putting an end to hate speech online. It said there's always someone doing something bad on the internet. Now the country of Germany is going to do something about it. The European nation has reached an agreement with Facebook, Twitter, and Google to remove hate speech from the internet within 24 hours of it being reported according to the reports from the Associated Press and AFP. The story cited German laws that ban such speech. Under the agreement, it will be easier for anti-racism groups to flag hate speech that may need to be removed from each of the services. So that is a pretty good move for Germany, I think. You know, not, not ev everyone doesn't like to see hate speech on social media or any kind of hateful comments about their race or gender or anything like that. So it's pretty cool that Germany's making this move to remove such speech off of these social networks within 24 hours. And but there's also a, like a, a other side to that, which I'm gonna get to in a little bit later. But it, I mean, thumbs up for Germany for that one. Do we continue? According to the article, a German official told the AFP that complaints will then be explained by special teams who will decide whether the content violates German laws and not just the terms of use for each site. It's still unclear how this will work, who has a final say, and if there is any way to appeal. It's also unclear whether posts removed from view in Germany will still be accessible outside of the country. So, uh, Twitter spokesman declined to comment on this. Representatives from Facebook and Google and the German government didn't immediately respond to the requests of that comment. So. There's a there that is kind of true. Like, how would they go about doing this? How can they tell which is hate speech and which is not? How I wonder what the process is to go through that to figure out how like what what does hate speech look like? Does it involve the N word in it, or someone says gay, or someone throws in the F bomb in there? Like, who knows? Maybe that could be constituted, but you never know. I guess it's how the co the context of the post. So I'm not sure how this they're going to um, sort through all the posts and figure out which one is hate speech or not. But uh, some more info in the article. The move could be a whitewash movement for social networks who until now have attempted to largely apply a single set of rules, which is their terms of use, across all users throughout the globe. This has caused some rankling in the past, particularly with repressive and this. Despotic, despotic governments who have rules against certain speech or imagery. The impetus of this argument, German Justice Minister Heiko Maas said, were concerns that social networks could become a fun fair for the far right. So I'm guessing what he, what they're trying to say at this point is. Now, anyone, the people on the far right are going to be like, oh, that's hate speech. Don't say that. They're like controlling people what they can or can't say on the internet, even though it's supposed to be a place where you can express your ideas as much as you want. It's supposed to be a free place where you can say what's on your mind, right? But some people do take it too far and... Like what? How would you go about that if they do take it too far? Like they say something really racist or something, someone that says something really hurtful. But then you kind of might might make the internet a little too PC, which I guess that's what some people might be complaining about. Is like you're making it too PC now. You're you're uh, limiting their freedom of speech, and there's that issue. So I don't know how the German government is going to go about this, but. There are, these concerns haven't stopped uh, CEO Mark Zuckerberg and the Twitter's uh, management team in the past when they've argued in favor of free speech. Uh, as Mark Zuckerberg said in January after the terrorist attacks against uh, French uh, satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo, he says, quote, We're trying to connect everyone in the world and give everyone a voice. This is about freedom of expression. This is, well, that's just exactly what I was trying to say earlier because then there's that side well where everyone has the right to free speech and the internet should be that space where anyone can say what's on their mind and express their ideas, their values, and their feelings. But at the same time, there you're going to get people that might say some hurtful things and then 
that doesn't mean you should like just like block them off of social media because they said something hateful or just remove all their po posts because they said something you don't like or they say something you disagree with because you got to have that open dialogue out there which I get that side. so I'm kind of in the middle with this one I'm kind of in the middle I mean it's cool it's a good idea but at the same time it's like not a good idea so I'm kind of mixed right now so I don't know what you guys let me know what you guys think leave it in the comment section down below tell me what you guys think on the matter because this is it's not exactly a cut and dry uh uh, discussion here. It's not cut, really cut around. It's not a black and white issue. It's like there's some gray area. There's gray areas in this one. But let me know what you guys think about this one.